Hey everyone, this is Dr. Daphne at HealthFit. And Coach B. So this month of February is American Heart Month, and this month you kind of want to get started on a jump start to a healthy heart. And so Coach B, do you have any ideas that could come to mind? Every 37 seconds a person in America dies from heart related illnesses. So, yeah, it's a pretty staggering stat. It's a lot. So one of the things that we're looking at in terms of getting started, we know that the New Year just started about a month ago, mm -hmm. and not everyone's actually maybe started an actual fitness program. Right. So one of the one of the first things that we're going to look at is, you know, is has a person been sedentary? So the ACSM or the American College of Sports Medicine mm -hmm. defines sedentary as a person being inactive, no physical activity for three months okay. in duration. So what is an appropriate amount of physical activity? So according to the ACSM, that would be a person that's active for 30 minutes, three times a day, for three months. So three, three, and three. Three, three, and three. Gotcha. Another thing that we're looking at too is before jumping into any program is to determine if you're actually fit enough to actually start a program. Mm -hmm. So if you've been sedentary or if there's a history of heart disease in your family, you may want to check with your doctor first before you start any program. That's pretty smart because a lot of people want to just jump right back into like going out to the gym, maybe like lifting or like high intensive cardio. And that's usually yeah. where people tend to run into problems. They do too much too soon. Right. Another way uh, that you can look at getting started also is, and again, this is probably the first thing, it's finding something that you, you love to do. Mm -hmm. As opposed to forcing yourself into, into something that you think that you should be doing, find what you might love to do. So an example might be uh, going for a walk. So is a walk enough? Like, what, what will make a walk enough of a workout, would you say? Because walking just seems so leisurely, but sometimes... Three times a week, mm -hmm. 30 minutes for three months. Sounds You're not good. considered sedentary. All right, that's doable. 30 minutes every day, walk your dog, find a friend, go outside, enjoy the sunshine. That sounds like a really good deal. And you made a really key point when you said find a friend. Mm -hmm. Now, we know that half of the time, people don't want to do it. And the other half, they're really, really wanting to do it really, really active. Right. Problem is, on any given day, you don't know which half is going to show up first. Mm -hmm. So one of my um, recommendations is to find two or three people who want to do the same thing because it's a lot harder to convince two or three other people than it is to just convince yourself that you don't want to do it. Mm -hmm. More than likely, when you don't feel like doing it, they're going to be able to pull you along. Mm -hmm. And when you do, someone else in the group doesn't want to do it, you can kind of pull them along that too. Makes sense. So the more support that you have starting out, the greater likelihood that you can actually keep doing it. So you'll find yourself becoming more energetic, more enthusiastic, and ultimately just wanting to have fun and being active, which is really cool. And being able to do those things that you probably haven't been able to do for a while. Mm -hmm. But initially to start, that's a great way to start. And then as you move further along, then you can move into more intense activities. Right. But for now, that's the best place to start. This is Coach B and this is Dr. Daphne here at HealthFit and if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave a comment down below or give us a call.